Well, Americans for the Arts want decision makers to help artists get back to work. The group proposed a 15 step action recovery strategy to help artists across the U.S. and in middle Georgia. Here's Ford of NBC's Trisha Wooten. Executive Director for Macon Arts Alliance says over 1,500 people signed a 15 step recovery strategy proposed by Americans for the Arts. The mission help the art community who have been impacted by COVID-19. For the federal government to directly employ creative workers. The second is for the federal government to encourage federal agencies, local governments and state governments to um, also employ creative workers. And the list goes on. According to Wilkerson, almost 63% of creative workers lost their jobs and haven't returned to work. She says the recovery strategy will allow creative workers to help out with things people might not think about. Mental health, education, um, health care, social injustice. According to a study done in 2017 by Americans for the Arts, Nonprofit art organizations in Macon Bibb County have an $88 million economic impact. The study shows those same organizations support 3,000 jobs, contribute nearly $4 million in revenue to local government, and over $3 million to the state at that time. Murals like this, done by hungry artists. Geyer says there needs to be more opportunities to produce and create to keep the Georgia art community alive. Now our version of that is to build an arts installation and let the artists decorate it basically. Geyer says his idea will give artists work and recognition. And with his plan, Triangle Arts Making can be the next Pasequin or Paradise Garden, two of Georgia's well-known art galleries. I'd like this to be every bit as, as, as cool as those places. Artist Rhonda Miller says she has been at Triangle Arts Making for a year and is extremely grateful. She says if it wasn't for Geyer taking a chance on her, she would have never been able to create or cope with a lot of life-changing moments. People like to express their feelings and their emotions through art, um, especially what's going on, not just with COVID, but with racism, the election, the violence. All agree that in order for the economy to recover, creativity is needed. The Making Art Bib community is supported by the county's hotel motel tax. Wilkerson says it hasn't done well in the last six months, but it's better than a national average. In Macon, Jatrissa Wooten, 41 NBC News. Well, the group says the proposal will be delivered to both presidential campaigns and members of Congress to make them aware of the group's recovery and rebuilding strategies.